Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. And that's because I bought a brand new scooter. And since we're in the heart of Miami Beach, I thought what better way to show off the scooter than to put a GoPro to my chest and take you guys with me as I ride around South Beach. I'm gonna show you guys Ocean Drive, Collins Avenue, Washington Avenue. We're gonna go all around the iconic places you guys see in the postcards, in the movies, TV shows. But first, we're gonna talk about the electric scooter I bought. It's from GoTrax. We're gonna talk about a little bit of its features, its range, battery life, and then we're gonna go take it for a spin. So this scooter actually goes up to 25 miles per charge with a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour. Now that of course is what the manufacturer says. And we all know what the manufacturer says is not the same in real world conditions. Now today I'm not gonna be testing its battery life. We're gonna take it for a spin and we should have a lot of juice left at the end of the ride, but I will let you guys know how my battery life is at the end of this video because South Beach is not really that big. It's you can get around in under five to 10 miles. So like I said, I do have the chest mount for the GoPro. So you guys are gonna be right on my chest and the, your view should be something similar to this. Okay, hopefully you guys can see really well. Let me just put in my passcode. It's just the normal standard one. I haven't set it up yet. Give it a little push and we are off. Oh my goodness, elevator out of service. Okay, I think this elevator works. All right, we are on 23rd Street, so we gotta go to South Beach. Ocean Drive starts at about 15th Street. Let's get on. All right, we're going 15 miles an hour. Cruise control kicks in at about 10 seconds of holding down the throttle. pick up the buses and the duck tours in Lincoln Road. miles an hour. miles an hour. Officially on Ocean Drive. You guys can see all of the beautiful hotels. This 
this building right here, the Tides, is where they shot Ace Ventura Pet Detective. So if you see in the beginning of the movie, he's delivering packages. It's right at the steps. Can't see it right now because it's all fenced off. But it is a really tall hotel. All right, let's keep going. All right, another pit stop at 11th Street and Ocean Drive. This is the Gianni Versace Mansion, built in 1930. It is a Mediterranean revival style home. It is actually a restaurant. You can actually book reservations to eat in there as well as stay for like 800 to 1,000 a night. It is the third most photographed single family home in the United States. Number one is the White House. Number two is Elvis's Graceland Estate. Number three is this Versace Mansion. He was killed right at the steps. These are the exact steps he was shot on that morning. Here's a look at the Gianni's menu. Like I said, you can dine in here. So they've got, uh, well, they got a lot of things here. Feel free to pause if you guys want to look at the menu. And over here we have the dining area so this is where you would eat lunch or dinner they've also got some tables inside as well and of course you can stay inside one of the rooms this right here is the world famous palace it's where you have drag shows every day especially on the weekends it gets really really rowdy Woo, we're really flying now 20 miles an hour Just take a look at all of these Art Deco style hotels. Our next stop is actually the News Cafe. If you guys can see right here, the News Cafe. This is where Gianni Versace would come to get his newspapers every day, his magazines. And this is actually where he was that morning, he was shot. He came without anybody and then on his way back to his mansion was killed. I can take you guys to the garage that the killer parked in. He did park in the 13th Street garage, just two blocks north of the Gianni Versace mansion, but it was close for renovations and it looks like they are not open yet. I don't know, they're getting ready to reopen. That news cafe, very historic, iconic cafe. Our next stop is the Colony Hotel, built in 1935 by an architect named Henry Hohauser. He's, he's one of the most famous architects from South Beach. He developed a lot of buildings here, a lot of hotels, iconic hotels. And one of those is the Colony. It is iconic. You see it in almost every postcard. And right next to it is CVS. Let's go check out why that CVS has significance. This CVS, this building, was used in the filming of Scarface in 1983. The scene depicted the Chainsaw Massacre and is a world famous Hollywood landmark. It is now a 24 hour CVS, a two story CVS. And yeah, that's where they filmed Scarface, right up these stairs here. That's chainsaw scene. Pretty cool. Just two buildings down from the CVS is the Avalon. It was built in 1941 and they love to park this classic car just outside of it. A lot of people take photos. There's a QR code right on the window 
assuming uh, leads to the website so you can book a hotel room here but they do have a restaurant down at the ground level we're now approaching the not the end of Ocean Drive but the end of where you would normally take a stroll we're at 5th Street 5th Street and Ocean Drive there's a TGI Fridays at the bottom of the Bentley Hotel and there's a new photo op here let me show you guys There is a new photo up here, Miami Beach sign. So if you guys are coming here, Fifth and Ocean Drive. I'm um, good, yeah. Nice. Thank you, yeah. Be careful when you're riding around here. We're now in the area known as South of Fifth or SoFi, SoFi, however you want to call it. it. Just means we are south of Fifth Street, but we are still on Ocean Drive. However, it is not as scenic as uh, Fifth to Fifteenth Street. This next spot was actually featured in one of my videos. This is the Browns Hotel, also the home of Prime 112 Steakhouse. It is, of course, located at 112 Ocean Drive. And fun fact, it is the first hotel ever in Miami Beach. So if you guys are ever in town, Browns Hotel, 112 Ocean Drive. Let's keep it moving. We've traveled, by the way, six miles. Obviously not today. It started at like three. So we've done about three miles total. We're now outside of Joe's Stone Crab. I just want to show you guys some of the hours for lunch, dinner, the bar, and they also have a dress code. It's a pretty big deal here in Miami Beach because of how old it is. Established in 1913. That's actually when Joe started his own food stand at one of the bathhouses here. Then moved on to opening his own little shop. And it, it originally didn't have stone crabs, believe it or not. That was later in the 1920s. It is, uh, I believe it's pretty difficult to get a seat in the general dining area, but they do have a takeaway section. Let me show you guys that right now. So if you guys don't want to try fighting for a table, they do have Joe's takeaway. South Point Park, which is the southernmost point you can get to in South Beach. So we do have to walk our scooter here because nothing that is motorized is allowed here. That includes electric scooters, segways, electric bikes, and of course your normal scooter. So for this portion, we're just gonna kind of walk the scooter because this park is just so nice and I highly recommend coming here. So 
so those massive buildings you see over there are really 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 expensive condos this is one of the richest zip code in the united states it is known as fisher island but yeah this is south point park it is a really really relaxing park you can see downtown miami that way port miami that way as well you can see the cruise ships coming in and out of port and you can just take a stroll walk your pet but not ride your electric scooter unfortunately check it out five park soon to be the tallest building in miami beach so over in miami beach we have the blue green diamond towers currently the tallest buildings in miami beach five park is going to take that title when it's completed it's really really tall already and it's going to be even taller at the end of the day so we just stand here we can see the scale of five park it's still going up it's got a long way to go actually but it is right at the entrance of south beach at fifth street coming off the macarthur causeway and uh, right across from it is a shopping center right here We're now in the residential area, so nobody can park here unless they have a residential permit. We're now coming up on Flamingo Park, which is smack center in South Beach. We're still in South Beach, 11th Street. Cutting through residential area right here, Lenox Avenue. This area is beautiful. Look at these trees. This is just outside of Flamingo Park on the east side. I like how the speed limit here is 20 miles an hour and that's exactly where I cap out at. So <laughs> I'm still within limits.
I wanted to stop right here outside of the convention center because this is where they are constructing in very early stages a Grand Hyatt Convention Center Hotel. It is going to be massive. It's going to be right next to the Fillmore, which is right at the center of your screen, and the Miami Beach Convention Center. Like I said, it's in the early stages, but that hotel is just going to be huge, especially for this area. working our way back to where we started this is the park we cut through in the beginning of the video let's see how much this parking cost me I wasn't gone for like more than two hours I don't think four dollars is too bad that means we were here for just about two hours here's my ticket let's go back up I think we're on six. I think I got the wrong floor. I think I gotta go one floor down. I should be right over here. Nope, one more floor down. Wow, I was way off. I see my car. All right. Check this out. It's a little noisy out. If you guys can see through the little holes. And that is facing north. And I can actually see the blue and green diamond towers. I told you guys about the current tallest building in Miami Beach. All right, so I am pointing my camera through one of these tiny holes to show you guys the blue and green diamond towers. And those two pointed towers on the left, part of the Fountain Blue Hotel is that big tower at the center. And all of that over there is mid beach. And this, of course, is the scooter. The odometer has exactly 10 miles we did start with like three so we did probably like seven miles total in this entire video which is nice so my thoughts on this scooter i give it a big thumbs up it cost me 530 dollars to purchase it was on sale there was a discount for like being my first time buying from go tracks i think it was like 27 dollars off so it was about 520 dollars i had fun i had fun getting around the city i didn't break a sweat I'm normally riding city bike around. You guys know me, I like city bike. Uh, to get around traffic, that was my only option. And now I just have to stand on this scooter that has an incredible range, at least for Miami Beach. 20 miles is more than enough to circle South Beach and see everything you wanna see and maybe do some groceries. I've seen people put their groceries right on the deck. And I think that's a genius idea. And then you just walk a scooter around the grocery store. So I'm gonna have so much use for this, not just for making videos, but for my personal life running errands and it fits comfortably in the back seat of my car and uh, it might fit in the trunk if I throw out more stuff 
But nonetheless, it is super, super convenient. This is not a sponsored video. This GoTrax, by the way, is the GoTrax G4. I should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video, yep. GoTrax G4, big thumbs up. There are different kinds of scooters that they offer. They have a performance series. This is the commuter series. And so it gets even better the more the more money you're willing to spend, you get more range. They have one that is like 45 mile range. And I think 45 mile range is, it would be awesome to have, but it's like $800. And it just eliminates any range anxiety you may have. You know, like not knowing whether you're gonna make it there and back, or if you're halfway through your trip and your battery is lower than half, you're not sure you're even gonna make it back. You have to like make sure you keep an eye on your speed and terrain and yeah 45 mile range would be perfect but for me starting off my first scooter the g4 is more than enough for me and i'm having a lot of fun with it so thank you guys so much for watching this was a video that i did not plan on making i just hit order last week and it came like two days ago so thank you so much for watching if you have an electric scooter or are planning on buying one what are your thoughts on the g4 and uh yeah with that i'll catch you guys in the next video i should have one hopefully next week subscribe hit the bell button and I will catch you guys in the next video.